everyone welcome to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet also do subscribe our new youtube channel that is online study for you jobs right both the channels are definitely going to be very very helpful in your placements and for the preparation so do subscribe both the youtube channels just a quick reminder that do install our online study for you app the link for the new youtube channel and the app as well is provided in the description itself so you can check it from there right so basically in this video we are going to do the discussion of python mcqs and coding questions according to given infitq sample paper so after going through the infitq sample paper here are the questions right which we have analyzed Okay, so this video is definitely going to be very very helpful for the students preparing for MPTQ. So make sure to watch the complete video. Also, do share this video with your friends who are having MPTQ in upcoming days. So let's start with the first question now. So the question says, for a given positive number n, determine the palindrome form by performing the given operations. The first operation is add n and its reverse. Check whether the sum is palindrome or not. If not, add the sum and its reverse and repeat until a palindrome is obtained. For example, if original integer is 195, we get 9339 as the resulting palindrome after the repetitive addition fourth time. So basically what is given in the question that a positive number n is given to you and you have to determine the palindrome formed by the given operations that first you have to take the number and the reverse of the number so you have to check whether the sum of number and its reverse is a palindrome or not if it is a palindrome then you have to simply print the number otherwise what you have to do so you have to do the repeat the same process that is the addition of the number and its reverse up to the time we are not getting a palindrome number let me help you let me elaborate more on this with the help of this example so suppose you took the number 195, right? So what is the reverse of 195? 591, 591. So addition of this is going to be 786, right? 786 is not a palindrome, so we have to repeat the same process. So now we will take 786, reverse of 786 is 687. The summation is going to be 1473. Again, 1473 is not a palindrome. So we will repeat the same process again, 1473 and the reverse is 3741. So it is going to give us 5214. Now 5214 is also not a palindrome. So let's repeat the same process again, 5214. We have to add with 4125. So it is going to give us 9339. So 9339 is a palindrome. So simply we have to print this as output. Right, so this is we have to do. I hope that now the question is clear to you. So input format is like you have to read n from the standard input, and the output format is print the palindrome calculated to the output. Example, you can see that 124. If you will take so 124 and 421 is going to give us 545. So this is a palindrome so we don't have to do the repetition again and again just simply print the 545 now you will take 3 as the input so 3 and the reverse of 3 is going to be 3 itself it is going to give us 6 now it is a single digit number so for sure it is a it will be considered as a palindrome so we have to print 6 right so this was the question that we got from the InfiTQ sample paper right so now what should be the approach to solve this question well using python it is going to be very easy question very easy to solve so let's discuss the approach and then we will implement the same using python so basically just take the input uh, from the user and then take the reverse of the input right so you know in python we have this splitting thing right so indexing thing and this slicing thing that all these things are the facilities provided in the python which makes a uh, python very easy to code right so just simply take the reverse of the number and then take the summation then take the summation of the number and the reverse of the number now what we can do so we will simply run a loop we will simply run a loop we will check that if summation is not equal to 
that the summation and the reverse of summation right we will check if summation and reverse of summation is not equal so we will keep repeating this process again and again up to the time the this scenario is not satisfied uh, if suppose here in this case you can see at one go we got 545 so for sure it is not going to insert in this loop right because for 545 this condition is going to be false so just coming out of the loop simply come out coming out of the loop just print the s value that is holding the summation of number and its reverse so a pretty easy problem it is let's see the implementation in python so what we will do let's take a number so you must be knowing that by default if i will write input here so it will be considered as a string in python so we have to do the type casting that is we have to use the int function here now we will take the reverse of the number so how you can do this just by using the so what we will do we we can do something like this that n minus 1 that is we can do right you must have read about the slicing thing in python for sure but we cannot do the slicing thing in case of numbers so we have to con convert this number and to a string now this is a valid operation and again we have to convert this string to integer right because we want to do the summation thing and adding an integer and a string is not a valid operation right so this is what we have done now we will take a variable s to store the sum of input integer and the reverse integer now as discussed in the approach we will check while s not equal to so here also for taking the reverse we will do s minus 1 but as if this s is also integer so we cannot do the slicing thing so we have to convert this into a string and again type conversion to integer right so now this is valid now we will check if the s and the reversed s are not equal so we have to repeat the same process again so we have to do s equal to s plus int of str of s okay so we will keep adding the reverse uh, we will keep adding the number and the reverse again and again right so we will keep repeating this process up to the time the summation and the reverse of summation is not equal right and as soon as the condition is false we will come out of the loop and simply print s right so this is it you can see the uh, code was pretty easy so let's run our code so let us take 195 so you can see we are getting 9339 let's take any other value let's take 3 so for 3 we are getting 6 let's take 124 so for 124 we are getting 545 right so i hope the logic and the approach is clear to you right so make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet and do install our online study for you so here's a question of mcq from python that which of the given expression involves coercion when evaluated in python so coercion means a uh, explicit type conversion this is what coercion means right so which of the given operation will lead to a given expression will lead to the coercion so you can see here 4.7 5.5 both are float types so no kind of coercion is required here also 9.9 .9 and 6.3 both are float so no coercion is required but here just have a look that 2.7 is float and 2 is integer type so what python will do python explicitly convert this 2 to 2.0 right so this is the expression this is the expression which will involve coercion when evaluated in python so the correct answer for this uh, question is going to be option c right so this is the correct answer next question is what will be the output of the following python code so a code is given and you have to determine the output of the python code so here's a list right so also make sure that we have not taken all the questions from sample paper some according to understanding the questions label that were asked in pgq sample paper so some questions we have added from our side the difficulty the label we have kept the same right so that is the thing so what will be the output of the following python code so li equal to 
list hello is given so this is a function so the given string hello we are converting to a list so it is going to be stored like this now so h e l l o right next what we are doing so this p in this p we are putting three values so how they are going to be stored they are going to be stored in the form of a in the form of a tuple right so li of 0 is h so here we will get h li of minus 1 means the last element negative index you must be knowing in python so what is this o so we will get o next we have 1 2 3 so this is kind of slicing thing in python so this is 0 index this is 1 index 2 3 4 right so 1 up to 2 we will take right you must be knowing that the last index is not included when we are doing the slicing thing in python so we have to consider two index only that is 1 and 2 so it is going to give us e comma l so this is what is stored in p now what we are doing so here we are using this format function to print the values so this is what we are doing tuple unpacking kind of thing we are doing so a equal to is going to be what it what is our output is going to be a equal to h right a equal to h then b equal to b equal to o there will be a comma then comma c equal to e and this l right so this is going to be the output for this particular question i hope it's clear so let's move to the next question now okay so this question is also taken from one of the questions that were asked in from python course in infitq the question says it's a very interesting string problem you have been provided a string with special characters words arithmetic symbols and numbers you have to separate the numbers and find the total sums of the numbers using regular expression right so basically here you have to use the regular expression to solve the problem also they have clearly mentioned that the string always contains integer the input is going to be the string contains special characters words arithmetic symbols and numbers and in the output we have to print the total sum of the numbers in that string for example the sample input is the 45 is bad at 24 asterisk and a slash rt so here we have two integers 45 and 24 on the addition we are going to get 69 right so this is the thing so basically a string is given to you consisting of various special characters words arithmetic symbols and numbers what you have to do so you have to find out the integers from the given string or basically the numbers from the given string and you have to print the total the sum of the numbers using regular expression so this is what they are asking in the question so let us see how to solve this problem using regular expression so basically what we will do first of all we have to solve this problem using regular expression so we will first import regular expression that is re in python next what we have to do we have to search for integers in the string so first let's take a string as input so s equal to input now we will take a variable that is let it be sc so sc equal to re dot so here is a function in regular expression that is find all so it takes three arguments basically that is pattern string and flag so as of right so we will provide the pattern we will mention that what pattern we are actually looking for in the given string so basically we have to find out for the digits in the given string so let's take re dot find all so basically there can be one or two uh, digits together for example we were having 25 45 right so that's why we have to do the plus right because there can be one or more than one digits right so that's why we have to use this plus so this is the pattern we have to look for the digits in the given string so next we are providing another argument as a string right so first me uh, let me show you that what it is going to give us right so let's run this code so you can see this is going to 
give me a a kind of list that is containing 45 and 24 you can see they single quotes because they both are a string right now what we want we want the summation so what you can do just go through uh, this list that we have got which is stored in sc so for i in sc right let's take a variable sum initialize this as zero so for i in sc sum plus equal to so this is of a uh, string type so we have to do the type conversion into file then just simply print sum in the output so let's run our code so you can see we are getting the expected output now we can do all this we did now we can do all this we can remove all these statements and we can do this in just one one line we can do the uh, this summation part in just one line so how we can do this this i did so that it it is going to be easy for most of you now we will do this using map function so what we will do just simply take print function sum of so we will take map and first argument is that is to convert this of integer type then re dot find all so give the pattern we have to find the digits right from the uh, string s right next we have to do the summation so sum directly we are using the inbuilt function present in the python so make sure that you are clear about all the functions map and all that are present in python because it is going to be very very helpful uh for you when doing the coding part and for the mcqs as well right so now if i will run the code so let us run our code control b uh you can add further more to it like me and 100 to so you can see we are getting 169 and all the statements i removed and in just one line we got the answer right so i hope it is clear to you the question is clear to you so thanks for watching this video make sure to like this video if you liked my explanation also share this video with your friends who are having in pt view in upcoming days right so make sure to subscribe this channel bye bye